What we're going to do now is look at the pocket mask and how that's used in resuscitation. One of the fears of first aid is coming into contact with someone else's body fluids when you're doing uh, the breaths for CPR. So the pocket mask is a very good way of stopping that. Now, it's slightly more bulky than other face masks, but it's a lot, lot better. It comes in this plastic case. Um, so you literally just open up the case and you can remove the pocket mask from the case. And they're always squashed quite flat for storage. So all you need to do is just push it so it's then in this shape. What you've got in the pocket mask is the section at the top, which is where the nose goes, and then the mouth goes on here. And then on this side, you've got a one-way valve. Now, the advantage of this is your mouth is that much away from the patient's mouth. So if there were any body fluids or vomit or anything like that, you're a long way away from them. And also there is filter paper in there to provide filtration between the breaths that are going in. So your breaths are going in, but if the, when they say exhale, exhaled air will come out around this bit here or any loose bit will come around here. Also on the pocket mask is the strap. Now this strap is designed to go around the back of the head to hold it in place. Um, and on the end here, there's an oxygen feed. Uh, all you do with that is take the cap off, you can put an oxygen feed if that's something that you have uh, available to you. Now, with the, um, the mask as well, you can usually pull these off, and if you have a bag valve mask, you can put that straight onto here. So it just makes it a little bit more universal. If you want to, you can put that straight back on again. So to apply the mask over someone, locate where the nose is, so it's going over the nose. So just over there. The elastic can just go around behind the head. You can pull it tight just by pulling these bits here. They're usually gripped in so that they stay in position uh, without uh, having to tie knots or anything like that. And then if you're doing rescue breaths, you can now open up the airway and you will do your breath straight in. Now the advantage that way is you're opening up the airway and you're blowing into the mouth and the nose. So you don't need to squeeze the nose because you've got maximum uh, attempt to get the air in there. So the pocket mask provides a good barrier against infection. It's a very efficient way of getting air into the body because it's blowing it in the mouth and the nose. And chances of recovery are, you know, it's, it's as good as you can get within doing CPR breaths. Now the pocket mask is a single use device. So they're not very expensive, they're only a few pounds. Um, and you literally, after you've used it, just throw away and buy another one. So now we've learned how to put a pocket mask on, we're now gonna look at how to have supplementary oxygen. Now, we spoke before about this little valve here. This has got a little cap on, and you can pull that cap off. And what you can do is put a piece of oxygen tubing just onto it. They're all push fit, you don't need to do anything more. Just literally push that in place, and now the oxygen tube's on. What you then do is connect the other end onto the outlet of the O2 cylinder, um, and now you've got supplementary oxygen. And the advantage here is that instead of just blowing in here the uh, air we're exhaling, which is gonna be around about 16%, we're supplementing 100% oxygen here, so we can increase the amount of oxygen that we're blowing in by around about 50%. So once we put that on, we can then turn the oxygen on, pop that over the face, and now the oxygen's blowing in, and now what we can do is we can give breaths, open the airway and give breaths the same way, but we're blowing supplementary oxygen in. The other advantage of leaving this on is that as we're doing chest compressions, there will be an element of air going in and out of the lungs. At least that way, the air that's going in is gonna be as near as possible 100% oxygen. So by using supplementary oxygen with a pocket mask, it means that you can quite easily get a high percentage of oxygen going in with every single breath. Once you've finished, all you need to do then is just turn the uh, tank fully off and then you can remove this um, and take it to bits again. And again, once you've used this, you would need to throw that away and also throw the uh, oxygen tubing away because it's all single use.